Hey, I'm Demelza Fox and we're going to have a super quick 10 minutes learning about how to play zills and different zill patterns so that we're all ready and excited to start learning in our classes this January. Okay, so zills are finger symbols. These are finger symbols. These are ones I bought from Fat Chance Belly Dance. Now you might think they look pretty big. I'll look closer. You might think they're pretty big. If they're on my fingers. They're this big. They're very loud. So what you want is the bigger the better for Zills, usually. Um, honestly, I don't play these ones very often. Um, I have wrist injuries, and because they're really big and heavy, sometimes they can give me a jip. But the bigger the better. These ones are from Fat Chance Belly Dance um, Dance Company, and they're from originally Turquoise International. I will make a blog post so then you know where to find good Zills. Ding! So. When you get your zills, you'll see that they come with elastic. Now, I've been a bit lazy and I've just put um, safety pins in the top of this one. These ones get shared out of class quite a lot, so they need to be able to use. But the best thing to do, I've just safety pinned all of these, it's probably not the best thing to do, is you do a loop at the top, tie it at the bottom. They need to be pretty tight, so your fingers will be blue after about 10 minutes of playing. But that's cool, that's cool, we suffer for our art. Okay, let me stick them on. To wear your zills, put them on your thumb, ding, and your middle finger, ding, and you put them at or just above the, whoo, sorry, at or just above the knuckle line. So here's my knuckle, here's my zill, it's practically on top. When we're playing our zills, What we want to make sure is that our fingers are, sorry, our hands are coming in a bit. And what we don't want to do is have lady, lady, lady fingers. If you have, if you extend your tiny little baby fingers, that is going to put strain down here and strain into here and it's going to be more likely to give you arm ache in your arms if you have any RSI tendencies from work or computer or usually it's work and computer it's going to bother them and also it's going to create pain and tension so you want lazy lazy crab hands yeah so your, th so your baby fingers are relaxed it feels weird because we want to be but we can't, we mustn't. Playing your zills, uh, there are a whole bunch of different ways. I'm going to go over three really quickly. Um, there's the open zill, which is the one that we'll be using most of the time in class. This one is where we are just tapping and opening immediately. Okay, so our zill comes in, taps and comes out again. So it has that ringing resonance sound. As we're doing this, my fingers, none of my other fingers are touching my zills. This will be easier if you have zills that feel comfortable on your hands. If you have small hands and you're trying to play with giant zills and you don't feel comfortable, you might want to kind of crab claw them because you're afraid they're going to fall off. They're not. They're stuck. They're not coming off. Or if you have really, really tiny zills that you can't control, that's why tiny zills are bad. Also, they sound pathetic. Um, you might feel a bit worried, but make sure your elastic is tight. Because if you put your hands over it, it makes our second zill noise, which is the zill clap. Which sounds like a horsey, I think. So we have our first one, the open ring. And our clap. We also have something called the tap, which is where we are tapping them at the side. To do that, we are bringing one zill and turning it so it's kind of horizontal to the palm, matching the palm. And we're tapping the top zill, <laughs> inelegantly in my case, on top. 
That one tends to be used more of an accent, and we'll be covering that more later in the term. Yay! First one we're going to do is the gallop, which is one, two, three. One, two, three. What I'm doing is I'm going right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right. I'm ruffling my thoughts. Right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right. right, left, right. Anna one, Anna two, Anna three, Anna four, Anna one, Anna two, Anna three, Anna four. Okay? Because we are not in ATS, we will be learning how to play things right hand dominant and left hand dominant. So it's very important which hand you are using to do your zills. So for this one, we're going right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right. Right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right. Okay? We can also do it left hand dominant, which is a lot harder. So we're going to go left, right, left. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. Left, whoops. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. And a one. And a two. And a three. And a four. And a one. And a two. And a three. We have our second one, which is three one three one three, which goes one two three one one two three one one two three one two three one one two three one one two three. Okay, so we go our normal gallop. One two three, right left right. Then we do a one with our right, so a right hand dominant. One one two three one one two three one two. Three. Passes that you can start playing with at home. 